Hey, I want to show you how I set up a Weber kettle grill for doing a little indirect cooking. Uh, if you don't have a smoker, one of these Webers, I mean, it's, it's probably one of my favorite grills that I actually own. I use it more than anything. You can do a lot with these. For indirect cooking on the Weber, you need two zones. You need a hot zone and you need a cool zone and you can cook your meat on. So what I do is I take just a half size aluminum pan and keep it over in my cool zone. Now I have a space where I can pile up my charcoal, I can get some wood going on it for smoke, and it's keeping it totally separate from my meat, so I'm cooking over here at a different temperature. I'm gonna show you how I get the coals going here in just a second, but this is the basic setup. And I use one of these Weber racks. The, the one touch that I have didn't come with this rack, but I found it at Home Depot for like 15 bucks. But it has easy access to what's below, so if you need to add charcoal during a long cook, so if you're smoking at a lower temp on the, on the Weber kettle, you can just flip it up, add a few coals, add more wood, and go right back to cooking. This is a real easy setup, and it works uh, just as good as a smoker. I'm going to get some coals going, show you how I stack them in there, how I add the wood, and this thing will be ready to cook. Now I've got some hot coals, we're ready to set up this Weber kettle for some indirect cooking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my spacer pan right down in the area I wanna put it, and I'm gonna put my hot coals over on the other side. You just wanna pile them up. Now we're pretty much set up for indirect smoking right here. And what I do like to do, since we have a water pan in here, I'm gonna add some apple juice to it. This is where you can get creative. You know, just water, add some beer, whatever you like. Apple juice gives it a good flavor. You can cut up onions and put it in it. This just adds a little bit of moisture when it's cooking. It's a little bit more of a heat sink. Absorbs some of that heat right off those coals. And you don't have to fill it up. You just want some moisture in there. Now I'm ready for my grate. All right, now we're ready for a little wood and, and the Weber's set up for smoking. So what I like to do, just drop a piece of good cherry wood down on there. It doesn't need much. And on this side, you can leave it flipped up if you're gonna be accessing it. But uh, today, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Or you can flip it back over if you wanted to sear right over it. But this is the setup for indirect smoking on a Weber kettle grill. Anybody can do this. You don't have to have an expensive cooker. Use your Weber, very versatile. So now that we got the, the wood on, the fire's hot, you wanna get your vents just cracked up about a quarter to start with you know we're wanting to smoke so it's going to be a lower temp we're probably going to be around 300 degrees uh, you can put a thermometer in it to check it but usually i know that if my bottom bottom uh, butterfly vent is set about a quarter and the top one's about a quarter here we're going to be right where we want we should start seeing some smoke come out now the weber's ready smelling good